Hi team, Ms. Vaughn here. Today you're gonna to be working on your presentations that you're gonna be completing with your group members. Um, and you're gonna be focusing on the two chapters that you guys chose at the end of class. So if you look at the whiteboard on the other side of the room, um, I took notes on who's gonna be doing what. It looks like JP's group is gonna be doing six inch and sorry, which is gonna be emptiness and apathy. Yari's group is gonna be doing love drought and all rights. And so that's going to be seven, sorry, all night. I'm going to be doing seven and 11, reformation and redemption. And then Monica's group is going to be doing formation and don't hurt yourself, which is going to be 12 and three. So anger and the coda. Um, and then... Alex, your group is going to have to decide on the two, the two chapters that you want to do. You cannot do chapter one and chapter two. Those are the only two chapters that are off limits just because we spent so much time doing those in class to start off the, start off the viewing of Lemonade. Um, Mercedes, I know that you're all by yourself. You can choose two chapters that you want to do on your own, or you can join forces with Monica and Monte because their group members haven't been showing up. Um, so you decide what you want to do. Okay, so the very last page of this gives you presentation requirements and considerations. So in terms of requirements, when you're looking at it, you got to cover these five different sections. Um, and I like to think of this, or if I were doing this, is that I would actually start with a conclusion. So thinking about your answer to this question and your two chapters, how does she answer this question with your two chapters? And then going through and thinking about how every all these other parts build towards this conclusion. Um, so again, thinking about your two specific chapters, how it builds towards this conclusion. Um, but then also with consideration that your two chapters are going to be your focus, but you can also talk about how your chapter builds on what another chapter has already done. Um, the link, sorry, transitioning resources that you're gonna to need to be able to complete this. So one person in the group is gonna be creating the presentation. You guys need to decide who's gonna be doing what. You have the link to the full film on Canvas. So if you need to go back and rewatch sections of the film for your chapters, I suggest that you do that. Highly suggest that you do that. And then I've also created two, I've not created, I have found, these two links here, one is to Genius that has the full script. So it's gonna have the transcript of the poems that she reads in between the songs. Um, and it also has all of the song lyrics too. And then the other thing that I want you to look at is the visual guides. So remember, I had asked you to think about how you see her breaking the generational curses with the past mixed with the present. Um, and then also thinking about how the visuals mix with the words. And the visual guides from Dissect Podcast, that's going to break down a lot of that, um, the illusions that she makes and how the visuals work with the words and the blending of the past and the present. Um, for some of your chapters, I'm going to be six period. We've already done a big chunk of this. Um, but for third period where I wasn't with you guys. Remember that for apathy, it might be really important for you to know why she chose to include Serena Williams in that chapter. And then in um, the chapter for forgiveness, if you're doing sandcastles, think about why she chooses to bring Jay-Z back into the picture. Um, and then there was one more, let's see. Oh, if you're doing Love Drought, Chapter 7, think about the allusion to the thousand girls who are raising their arms. Um, think about the historical allusion, too. And then, oh, for Chapter 6, Accountability for Daddy Lessons, she features this woman named Leah Chase. Um, you should look her up to see what her story is and why she includes her in these chapters about not only like fathers influencing daughters, but also with this bigger theme of generational healing. Okay, so start your presentation, share it with your group members, share it with me. 
Um, final draft of your presentation is going to be done, be due on Monday, Tuesday of next week. Um, you're not going to be doing a full presentation to the class with this. Um, I'm going to explain on Monday, Tuesday, what you're going to be doing with these. Um, but you should be ready to go when we come into class on Monday, Tuesday, be ready to present your presentation, explain your findings, explain what happens within your chapters, um, and be able to speak to these five different sections of the instructions of what you're doing with your presentations. Okay, that was a lot of information. Feel free to go back and re-listen to this. As a reminder, use your resources. You got the full film that's on Canvas for you. You have all these questions to consider, and then you also have your group members too. Uh, email me if you have any questions. I will be around my phone. Um, and when I come back to campus around 4 p.m. for senior night, and I hope to see many of you there, um, but I come back to campus this evening for senior night, I'll check my email before, before that. Um, okay. Be nice to each other. Be nice to the sub. Be nice to yourselves. And I'll see you on Monday, Tuesday. Bye-bye.